Hi everyone, welcome to Rich in Life. My name is Rachel, I am a wife and a mother to a nine month old named Archer. For today, we're going to talk about why we opted for the Montessori approach. Although Montessori has been around for a long time now, I thoroughly learned about it when Archer was three months old. Sure, our Christian faith plays a huge part in our lives and it is definitely something we want to pass on to our children. But I thought to myself, I think we need some sort of a practical parenting philosophy. Before I jump right into why we want the story, let's talk about its brief background. <laughs> yes, love? Dr. Maria Montessori was one of the first female Italian doctors in the late 1800s. She worked at a clinic in Rome, treating the poor and their children. She observed children with emotional and mental disabilities who were sensorially deprived in their environment. She spent most of her time applying her medical training to help these children stay engaged and learn effectively. She immersed herself in testing and refining educational materials that would foster effective learning for these children. As a result, these children passed state examinations with higher marks than children without disabilities. Hence, the birth of the Montessori as an educational approach and a parenting philosophy. Now, here are some of the reasons why we Montessori. I will mention a couple of Montessori principles. Don't worry, we're going to define and elaborate them. First, natural desire to learn. Children have an innate desire to learn, and as parents and educators, we don't want to destroy that by forcing or obliging them. What we do is cultivate them. As Montessori is child-centered or child-led, this develops observation for us parents and educators. It encourages us to really pay attention to our children's current interest, which leads us to a Montessori principle called sensitive periods. This is when a child displays a certain interest in one area, for example, movement, language, math, and reading. This is a moment when the child is so invested in learning that it comes so easily and naturally. Discovering, specifically within a prepared environment, builds wonder and a love of learning. We don't have to instruct them to explore the environment as children are naturally curious learners, which is something that we need to support and enrich. Two, a prepared environment. Children have an intrinsic sense of order. They love routine and organization. Much like adults, isn't it? We enjoy a sense of stability in it. Well, for children, the purpose of preparing their environment is to make things as attractive and organized as possible and to give them the freedom to explore and learn. So for example, when you enter a Montessori classroom, you'll see child-sized furniture and tools, shelves and displays arranged at their height, You'll also see age-appropriate activities placed on a tray or a basket. All these are set to help children succeed. To be honest, I also have my off days when I am not able to fully prepare Archer's play area. And during these moments when it is cluttered, I've noticed that Archer is not interested in playing with his toys from the shelf. As opposed to days when it is prepared accordingly, he knows where a toy or an activity belongs and he is a lot more engaged to play. Number three, help me to help myself. Babies and children are capable of so much more yeah. than we think. I learned that it is sometimes our perception about kids that limits them. If only we'll respect their work, their space, and even their playtime, they'll be able to feel more fulfilled and trusted. As I mentioned earlier, we set up our home to be a prepared environment, making their things accessible for them and fostering freedom within healthy limits. We don't interrupt them when they're playing or doing an activity because they want and can accomplish it. And we want them to have that sense of accomplishment. I would like to think that independence and being responsible aren't the goals in Montessori. Instead, I'd like to view it as a byproduct of how we treat them and how we allow freedom within limits. Number four, it is a personal decision. My husband and I are aware that we are new parents and there are still so many things to learn and unlearn. But if there's something that really struck us, that is parenting is very personal. It's going to be because we have different living and working conditions. Also because our children are unique and have different needs. 
Well, for us as an expat family here in Dubai, we take into consideration that we don't have a helper. Hence, if making things a lot more accessible and available for my child means more convenience and time for us parents, then sign us up. Moreover, we practice Montessori because we know our child is not ours. The Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is, it will, he will not depart from it. There will come a time when we need to release them, and we want to make sure that they are God-loving, respectful, and responsible human beings. Anyway, before I get all emotional here, by the end of the day, we do what's best for our family, whether that is a combination of Montessori, traditional, or Waldorf. We do what keeps ourselves and our family healthy and happy. Because a healthy and a happy home yields a healthy and a happy child. If you find this content helpful and interesting, please feel free to like. That is my baby. Your hair. Your hair. Okay. If you find this content helpful and interesting, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If not, I shall pray more and remain faithful. Have a good day, everyone. God bless you all.